Never in our lifetimes, for the rest of our lives, we may never have two weeks, three weeks, four weeks to spend quality time with our kids and our families. Never, ever. This could be the only time in your life where you were forced to be in a situation where all you can do is hang out with your family. And I understand the burden, the frustration, and the boredom. But I want to really change your mindset when I say you're not bored, you're boring, to just challenge yourself to get creative and to enjoy this time. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Sales Wolves podcast. As always, I'm your host, Tyler Jack Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ah, All right, guys, I am here, and this is episode 164 of the Sales Wolves podcast. And the title of this episode may just be the entire episode, and that is, you are not bored, you're just boring. I'm going to let that sink in for a second there. You are not bored. You're just boring. (sighs) How's that feel? (laughs) I know with all the chaos going on, we've got so many parents that are quarantined. They're at home and you know, just side note, you're not stuck at home. You're safe at home. That's a mindset switch, but you're at home and you may have little ones running around. And I understand, like I, I completely empathize with the difficulty and especially a capacity of trying to work from home and get things done and, and handling kids and and their attention spans and your own. But I want to use this episode really as a challenge to you because I know by now, however many weeks we are into this crisis, that it's possible you're just completely running out of ideas of things to do. And your kids are probably telling you, mom, dad, I'm bored. I'm so bored. And you're probably thinking to yourself, many of you, man, I'm just bored. What is there to do? And I want to issue this challenge to you to get creative. And here's the framework that I want to to put around that. Really the perspective that I want you to have on this period of time that you have been given. Many of us, and I would say most of us, never in our lifetimes... For the rest of our lives, we may never have two weeks, three weeks, four weeks to spend quality time with our kids and our families. Never, ever. This could be the only time in your life where you were forced to be in a situation where all you can do is hang out with your family. And I understand the burden, the frustration and the boredom, but I want to really change your mindset. When I say you're not bored, you're boring to just challenge yourself to get creative and to enjoy this time. There are so many reasons out there right now to be fearful. There's so many reasons out there right now to be anxious. And those reasons are very real. And if you can hear my voice, if you can see me talking to you, I I'm telling you those things are real, but just like in all the other areas of your life, it's not what happens to you. It's how you react to what happens to you. 
And quite frankly, as bad as it may be, because for some, this is absolutely devastating. But as bad as it may be, we can still look at this opportunity with our families as a gift. The opportunity with your son as a gift. The opportunity with your daughter as a gift that you may never, ever get or receive again. And so I want this to be kind of like a, a battle cry, like a, a challenge for you to rise up, like to rise to the occasion, to accept that responsibility, to accept that challenge, to get creative and make the most out of this time. Because I promise you this, your kids are going to remember this period of time for the rest of their lives. They're going to remember how you reacted during this crisis for the rest of their lives. They're going to remember the kind of person that you were, the kind of person that you were to be around. They're going to remember the frustrations. They're going to remember the joy. They're going to remember the fear. They're going to remember the excitement. They're going to remember the fun things you did. And they're going to remember the times where you just weren't present. You were available but you weren't present in this moment. And it is such a gift. I want to, I want to take your mind to 10 years down the road, 20 years down the road, your daughter's getting married, your son's leaving for college. And you will think back to this time, man, remember when I had four weeks to just sit and talk, to get to know them, to understand what they're going through to understand them in general on a much deeper level, to have conversations with them that could have made a huge impact on their life. And what did I do with that gift? You know, I'm not a conspiracy theorist by any means. I don't watch the news. I don't try to figure out why this is happening. But I have to believe that God has given us a gift in this season. And it's the gift to, for some, reconnect, but for others to connect more deeply with the ones that are most important to us. And that starts in your house. But it extends outside that. A phone call is the definition of social distancing. So who are those people in your life that you have all the time in the world now to reach out to, to connect with, maybe to repair some relationships, maybe to create space to have some vulnerable conversations. Who are those people? As I'm asking you that right now, and I am asking right now, who are those people that you need to reach out to? Who just came to your mind? Someone just came to your mind. And now that that has been put out in front of you, you have a choice to make. I can choose to reach out to them, have that difficult conversation, have that potentially amazing conversation, but that's going to be a choice. And what is the excuse that we always use? Always use. I just don't have enough time. I just, I just ran out of time. Time right now is the only thing you have. So what are you doing with the time that you've been given? What are the things that you can look back on this crisis and be grateful for? There's plenty to not be grateful for. There's plenty of things to look back on this crisis. And when you look at it, it's just horrible. And I'm not downplaying that in any way. But what are some of those things that a year from now, five years from now, 10 years from now, 30 years from now, you can look back and think, man, remember when we all had to be quarantined and we couldn't go anywhere? Like nothing was open. There was nothing to do outside of you know our homes and maybe the park nearby if that's open. Remember all that time that I had that I just watched a stupid Tiger King documentary and just absolutely destroyed my soul for six hours? should be another podcast. 
Or did I use that time to do all those things that I excused myself of not doing for the previous one, five, 10 years because I didn't have the time. Time is our most valuable, most precious and most fleeting asset that we have. So what are you doing with it right now? What are you doing with it right now? It's a challenging question because as easy as it is to pick up the phone and have that conversation, as easy as it is to sit down and play tea party with your daughter, play video games with your son, play wiffle ball in the backyard, as easy and simple as it is to go and do those things, it's way easier not to. And so this challenge is for you to rise to the occasion, for you to be aware of this gift that you've been given and do something about it. Because if you're listening to this, and if you've gotten to this point of the podcast, you are now aware of the gift. And whatever happens from here is a conscious choice. You chose to build those relationships. You chose to reconnect. You chose to dive deeper with your family. Or you chose not to. And man, that's going to be a hard pill to swallow when they turn 21 or when they go off to college or when they're in high school. And the last thing they want to do is hang out with you on a Thursday afternoon. It was a choice you made with the time that you have to not do those things. And man, I beg of you to make the choice, the right choice to go all in right now. So the title you're not bored. You're boring. It's funny. You probably laughed, hopefully, but man, it's a serious, serious, serious thing that I want you to take, um, very seriously. That's it guys. I don't have any creative answers for you on what to do with your kids. Cause I don't know your kids, but you need to get interested in what they're interested in real fast. And have conversations with them that you've never had before. Have conversations with other people that you've never had before. And use this gift for good. Because there'll be plenty of bad. So we have to do what we can to find the good in the bad. With that, guys, this is episode 164 of the Sales Wolves podcast. As always, I'm your host, Tyler Jack Harrison. I am a sales wolf. Ah, ooh!